Hey, what is up guys? I'm Meldox and Blizzard just released a new character to Overwatch. We have a new hero and her name is Orisa. They just released the introduction video to her and the origin story. So, uh, she is a robot of Numbani and, uh, made by Effie. And, uh, I got some gameplay right here for you guys. Uh, this is not quick play, obviously. These are a bunch of bots. I had to go to a quick match and open up a, and add bots to it. So I could actually play a match because no one could find a match in quick play right now. So this is what I'm stuck with. So one of the first things that I noticed about Arisa is that she is deathly slow. I mean, she is vigor. Oh my god, she's so slow. Uh, it feels like uh, D.Va, in a sense, when you're walking and shooting. Uh, you're very, very slow. And also, when you're just walking normally, it feels super slow. It feels way slower than most tanks. Uh, the shooting feels very different. They're definitely the projectiles. They're not like bullets. So you're going to have to lead maybe in the long range. In the mid range, I didn't have to lead a lot. Uh, the fire rate is, is sort of slow. Uh, fire rate feels really slow, actually. Uh, you're just sitting there spraying, and you never run out of bullets. I mean, it feels like you never have to reload. But when you reload, oh my god, it feels like an eternity. Now, Arisa being a tank is very interesting because she uh, only has 400 health. Most uh, tanks have the 500 to the 600 health range. Now, she's split, I think, right in the middle with 200 armor and 200 uh, health. Uh, so it, she's... She's not, she's not super weak, but she has a giant hitbox. This, this thing is gigantic. She's a big robot. She reminds me of like a, a even bigger Roadhog uh, when it comes to hitbox. So you're gonna be able to nail and destroy her uh, at mid range. So I just dropped the ultimate right here. Uh, this thing is insane. So it gives a damage boost to everyone that's in its range, and its range is gigantic. It's huge. Uh, I, I noticed a big difference when you drop it down. The stupid AI bots were doing a lot more damage, and we were winning gunfights. Uh, so, the other ability that ha she has is sh her shift. Now, this thing is very interesting. Uh, I I used it a couple times in game, and I really didn't get any use out of it. But uh, what it's supposed to do is it reduces the damage that you take. It's simple as that. And also, you cannot be affected by action effects. So I'm not really sure what that means. I saw in a little bit of the uh, the little short little video they do for each ability. I saw where Reinhardt's hammer slammed down and it didn't do anything to her. Also in this video I did one where uh, I could just walk right through May's um, freeze. So that's that's really nice that, to know that this is a tank that can survive a lot of different things. Uh, and, and it lasts five seconds. So it's it's actually it's really long actually. And the cooldown is not that long. I, I think it's like 10 seconds, 9 seconds. The cooldown on it is very short. Uh, speaking of cooldowns, I think the cooldowns are pretty pretty fair. Uh, they're not like really insane. Uh, the Graviton one, uh, that one's fair. You know, it's not that long. Uh, Bubble Shield, yet again, something, or the Shield, something that should be longer. Uh, it's about 10 seconds, 12 seconds, so that's good. Uh, overall, the hero feels very very stationary it's not a mobile hero you're not gonna be flying around like Winston you're not gonna be flanking like uh, a Roadhog uh, you're gonna be kinda like a Reinhardt in that sense that you you post up your shield and you stand behind it and you protect your teammates uh, so you're gonna have to definitely build around this hero now I can't get a whole lot of information when it comes to the competitive aspect in the base beta to the game right now because I only got to play against AI, and you know how AI is. You, you you just wreck them, you destroy them, you get all kinds of kills, it's fun, and you kind of get to experience a little bit of what the hero does and what it is. But for the most part, um, I'm having I'm having a hard time immediately finding a use for the hero. Now obviously the the AI, yet again, mine are stupid, they are stupid. Uh, they're not working with me, they're just all working in, together in one ball doing the same thing. Uh, so it's hard to gauge what the hero is going to be like for going further into competitive and, and higher above in quick play. Uh, I don't know yet. I just don't know. Something that I think is very interesting about Orisa is her ultimate. And most heroes, they're defined by their ultimate, whether that works or not. And it's a really great one. It's fun. Uh, you get to have everyone damage boosted and do a ton of damage and be a, a wrecking ball of a team. But I don't know if it's going to last. You know, you put that thing down, and then what? You know, are you gonna... Is is it gonna last? Are, are the enemy team gonna then focus it, destroy it, and then you don't have an ultimate anymore? I mean, the implications of it seem very 
strange. And I think it'll be something that you would use to advance an advantage you already have. So it's one of those abilities where it's not going to create a momentum. I think it's something that you use when you're already ahead to just keep push pushing for further, farther. Uh, sort of like uh, like uh, King of the Hill where you know you're holding the hill, drop that thing. You know it's not that valuable. I in my opinion, you use it. You, you know you set up, get more damage going out, maybe get a few picks from that damage, and then you you just keep trucking. Uh, I I just don't see how this can be like a complete momentum shift, kind of like a graviton surge or a bastion ulting. You know something insane. I I don't think it's that. I think it's very subtle. I definitely want to play more. Um, obviously, when this goes live, it'll be way easier to gauge, you know, what's going on. How can you use her? How can you implement her? Uh, right now, you can't because Quick Play is complete trash. You can't get in there because the servers are trash. And I had to play against AI, so I'm not really getting to gauge very well. But when this goes live, which will probably be soon, because as soon as these heroes go to the PTR, you are sure that it's going to go live very soon. So when it goes live and we start seeing competitive play, pros playing w around with it, everyone playing around with it, I think we're going to see some different styles of of meta where it's like instead of thinking about 222 or 321 you're like okay what can we do to build around this one hero since it's new now like sombra sombra was a very odd one people tried to build teams around it it doesn't really work that well i've seen it in pro scenes and it works but i think this is a hero that they're definitely going to try to build a team around uh sort of sort of like how they tried to do sombra well, guys, that's it for me. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. Subscribe so you can see more content like this. And leave a comment. Let me know what you all think about the new hero. Uh, do you think it's going to be good? Have you tried it? Let me know if you, what you think about it. And, uh, guys, go to my channel. Check out my other stuff. I got plenty more videos for all to watch. Go check them out. And uh, yet again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.